Hi, this is Joe, and thanks for coming back for another video. In this video, we're going to be installing uh, OpenSSH Server on a Raspberry Pi, running Ubuntu Server. SSH is Secure Shell. What SSH allows you to do is, uh, because we're installing the OpenSSH Server on the Raspberry Pi, that means on another client such as a Windows or Linux box or even a, a Mac OS box, you can then use client software SSH to then connect to the SSH uh, server, in this case running on a Raspberry Pi. Open SSH does is when upon installing it creates a private and public key so that any communication between the client and server is encrypted and protected. As you see here on the command line, we're logged in as Ubuntu, which is just a regular user. So in order to install the package manager, we have to use the sudo command, which is supervisor do. The apt is a packet manager. It's a common packet manager on uh, various flavors of Linux install and then open ssh-server. This will allow us to install the ssh server on the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see here we're exec executing it and it says that uh, open ssh server is already the newest version. What we want to do normally by default Ubuntu disables the SSH server. So we have to uh, enable it, open the firewall for the appropriate port for SSH communication. So what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, check to see the status on SSH. And as you can see here, it's showing uh, that SSH is running. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the Unix firewall. We're going to allow SSH to be able to communicate through the proper SSH port. So again, we're going to run sudo ufw for Unix firewall, allow, and then SSH. Okay, notice it updated the rules, and uh, we're now ready to do a test. So, the first thing we want to do is uh, Ubuntu comes with the SSH client already installed. Is We want to get the fingerprint of the public key that the uh, SSH server set up for secure communications. And how we do that is we just use the client and we can go SSH and we can go which is 127.0.0.1 is the the IP address for the local host. So is execute that command and you'll notice here that says uh, it says the effect authenticity of host 127.0.0.1 can't be established. Then it gives a fingerprint which is an SHA-256 hash. What a hash does is it takes the public key which is a rather long key and it hashes it using SHA-256 hash and it generates this much smaller uh, fingerprint so what you want to do is at this point you want to write this key down or take a picture of this key with your phone because what we're going to do is go over to a in this case a Windows uh, client and we're going to try to SSH into the Raspberry Pi we're going to write that down we're going to exit out and now we're going to uh, go over to a Windows uh, computer and we want to verify when we try to SS, or try to SSH into the Raspberry Pi, that we get the same hash, so we can verify for sure that we're communicating directly to the Raspberry Pi. Before we head over to the Windows box, let's go ahead and find out the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. 
if you type in IPADDR, it's going to give you a list of the IP addresses on the Raspberry Pi. So what we're looking for here is if you look up, you'll find one that says ETH0, which is your Ethernet board, and that IP address is 192.168.1.26. Because uh, these computers are on a, a home network, we're going to get the 192.168 octets. So let's go ahead and write that IP address down, and now let's go head over to the Windows box. We're on the Windows machine now, and the first thing you want to do is open your settings application, and then go down and select your apps application. And what we want to do at this point is click on the optional features. And we want to scroll down, and what we're looking for is the open SSH client. If you do not have the open SSH client, then what you want to do is go up and click add a feature. In your particular case, uh, you want to then select the open SSH client. Since it's already installed in my machine, it won't show up in this list. So at this point, let's go ahead. We know that open SSH client is installed. What we're going to do now is we're going to open up a command shell. What we can do now is we can attempt to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So we would type in SSH. We would type in Ubuntu, which is the username. We would put the at sign, and then we put in the IP address from the Raspberry Pi, which was 192.168.1.26. We execute the command. Notice now it says the authenticity of the host can't be established, and then it gives us the fingerprint. So what we want to do at this point is we want to verify that this fingerprint, which is basically just a, a SHA-256 hash of the public key the OpenSSH server created over on the Raspberry Pi. So what we want to do now, are, are you sure you want to continue? We're going to say yes. We're going to now type in the password. And notice now we're connected to the Raspberry Pi. If we exit out of SSH and we execute that again, notice now it's not prompting us to verify the fingerprint. When we said yes before, it actually stored that fingerprint out in the user's folder under .ssh folder in a file called known underscore hosts. So at this point, it has uh, verified that the hash for the public key uh, for the SSH server has been verified, and now we can make secure connections between our Windows box and the Raspberry Pi. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.